XRP is basically a meme coin. XRP maximalists love the idea of a $1,200 XRP token, and it's just not something that's going to happen anytime soon. $1,200 XRP means that pretty sure that's like a couple times bigger market cap than the US GDP. But what do I know? My name is Dennis. This is Cali Crypto, where I cover crypto news, educate people on crypto, help you make money in the markets. And none of this is financial advice. So please, this is for education purposes only. And in this video, I'm going to be covering why XRP is probably not going to make you rich and be very honest and blunt with you about it. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe. Okay, so there's a lot of bullish fundamental news coming out about XRP. But to me, all I want to really see is market cap and price action. And just think about it from a fundamental, from like a fundamental value standpoint. Okay, so let's go to XRP. XRP is sitting at $27.9 billion. A lot of people think that XRP is going to outperform Ethereum, Bitcoin over the next cycle and become the crypto, the number one crypto project in existence. How likely is that? Not very, in my personal opinion. You're telling me that Bitcoin that XRP would have to basically over 100x, no, I'm sorry, over 10x to get to about half of, to, to get to about half of Bitcoin's market cap, roughly, right? And then over 100x to surpass Bitcoin. So what, my question to XRP maximalists, if anyone is interested in answering, this would be super helpful for me. What is going to cause XRP to literally go from 27.9 billion and surpass Bitcoin sitting at 585 billion and go above that and to hit trillions of dollars worth of market cap? Somebody answer that question for me. Because that alone, just looking at the market cap, it doesn't matter who uses it, right? The technology of XRP will yes be used by banks sure but just because they use the technology does not mean they're going to own the token xrp that's one thing that you really have to keep in mind anyways before i continue make sure to like and subscribe i'm going to go look at the charts now and show you levels to watch for for xrp and price action to keep moving forward even though i don't think it's anything's going to come of this but all right let's zoom up to the Monthly time frame. All right. So monthly time frame. Stochastic RSI already curling to the low to the low side. We hit that oversold, overbought, sorry, overbought area, and now we're curling down. Right? This big wick candle that hit the mid-range at 86 cents. This is when the SEC was like, Yeah, X we deem XRP not a security. And everyone was like, Oh my God, super bullish. But the thing is, is people still underestimated the power of this because, again, what people forget is that we are still in a bear market and a bear market will have bear market rallies. And if you look at the last time where we ended up for this, this uh, for price action, where we went above 86 cents, we came up to this level, right, where the drop off happened. This is exactly what you want to see from a price action standpoint, because now we filled in this entire inefficiency on the way up. And guess what? Yeah, I understand we're holding this uptrend, but over the last month, and we're about to close this month here in 10 days, these are very indecisive candles as of right now. Let's zoom into the weekly time frame. Weekly stochastic RSI looking like it wants to curl. Looking at, that, at those oversold points could potentially curl up, which could bring price action up. But very similarly to how here, right, when we mapped out this monthly level, or we came up and tagged it because it was the peak right? You're seeing the same thing right here. The initial part of the drop off, right? It's very possible for XRP to come up, tag this 62 cents level, grab some more liquidity, maybe get up here above 66 cents, and then dip back down. So something like this would make a lot of sense to me, take out liquidity. Everyone's calling for bull, bull market. All we're doing is forming a, a lower high, right? So market structure goes high, higher, low, chill, higher, high, kind of, higher, high, higher, low. I wouldn't really give that a, a good as a good example. However, the 
this is what we're going to do with that. If we zoom into the daily time frame, you can see that where price action is approaching at 53.98 cents, even if I were to do this, right, draw another wick up here, this is your little range that you've been sitting in, right? XRP maxis, you're not going to like this one, right? If you're if you're trading in a range, and this is your daily time frame range, you're approaching the range high. The extent that doesn't mean we can't go higher, right? But most likely, the extent based off of range trading, you want to do the majority of your action in the extremities of a range. So my range low and my range high. So if price action does something like this, takes out this liquidity gets back inside, that's going to be a short trigger and price action is going to probably trade and come test this area of support and this trend line. And I also don't like this wick here because wicks like this oftentimes get filled because again, big pockets of liquidity sitting in this level. Again, it's okay to be bullish on XRP from a macro standpoint, but you have to consider the reality that look, yes, I understand that. Well, over the 2021 or 2021 bull cycle XRP was capped because of all the SEC nonsense. But if you really think about it, like let's go to XRP on Bitstamp, right? We didn't even make an all time high over the last bull cycle. And a lot of people will do something like this, right? This was again, this is the SEC pump. People don't understand XRP is a meme coin. It's it's retail. This is I'm I'm saying this to protect you, you you crypto investor watching this video, that it's probably a good idea to stay away from XRP. Even if you draw the line like this, look, it doesn't even come up. Like I'm trying to justify a bullish move, but I'm not seeing anything, right? And we still haven't entered an accumulation range like this, right? Where you have two, two you have a key high, and then you have a key low. We haven't even done that with XRP yet. And even, 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 I'm just finding more reasons to believe that we're, we're still range bound. Look at this. And this is the monthly time frame, right? If I zoom into the weekly time, look at this. Tell me we're not range bound. Okay, yeah, XRP could go up to 81 cents again. Grab all this liquidity. Cool, great. You guys are all wrecked, right? We're above the mid range at this level. So cool, we're bullish. Oh my God, so bullish. But what? Look where we are. This is your range. You want to be buying the extremes of the range or selling the extremes of the range. In this case, look, dude, XRP, I'm not sold. I'm not I'm not sold at all. But hey, what do I know? I'm just some random dude on the internet. If you're an XRP hater like myself, make sure to like this video and tell all your friends to stay away from XRP. It's not going to make you rich. It's $27 billion market cap. You're better off buying NR, NXRA or SAMO or te Tectum, like other altcoins that I've talked about on this channel that will likely do a 50x to 100x because of how small they are. These are coins that are sitting in the, the tens of millions of market caps, not billions, right? You have to think about liquidity. Liquidity just doesn't just come out of thin air. Here in the US, we're about to enter a recession, right? Everyone's strapped for cash. Consumers are dried out. And you're telling me your favorite retail coin is going to make you a millionaire? Come on. Be reasonable. Be reasonable. Anyways, make sure to like and subscribe. My name is Dennis. This is Cali Crypto. I'll see you on the next video. Peace.